Oh, oh my God. I didn't expect this. Hey guys, today I'm very excited because I want to share my DNA test with you. I've been documenting everything, but first of all, let me tell you why I'm doing this. Honestly, I never thought about doing a test because it wasn't something I was thinking a lot. But after opening this channel and after seeing a lot of people assuming my ethnicity, I decided to take it because it awoke my curiosity. And also because I made a video about why Mexicans look Asian and it became very popular. And I was surprised to see a lot of interesting comments and I appreciate them a lot. Thank you very much. But also, I saw a lot of people were assuming my ethnicity, which I thought was weird, <laughs> to be honest. All Mexicans are different. There's no one kind of Mexican. So that's why I was surprised. But let me show you some comments about people assuming my ethnicity. And I think after reading them, it's going to be very interesting to show you my DNA results. This person is saying, you do have a Vietnamese parent. This other person is saying, yeah, she Filipino. I am Asian Filipino and look more Mexican than you. <laughs> Winter is saying, you look Filipino, Indonesian, Malaysian, Vietnamese, Thai. Mm. Tam Tran is saying 50% Vietnamese. Brown Redman is saying, I'm betting you are indigenous. I also saw your comments, guys. And a lot of people were saying, you should take a DNA test. So that's what I did. As I said, I've been documenting everything. So let's see. I'm very excited because today I received my DNA test. So I want to open it together with you guys. This is the unboxing. Beautiful. And here we have all the necessary to put my my test <laughs> actually getting a dna test in mexico well at least for me was very difficult we needed to order this uh, overseas and even though the united states is just to the north the mexican post office isn't good so we have to use dhl or fedex to be able to bring here our, our packages but they are very expensive. If this package took a month to arrive here, let's see how long it takes to return this to the United States and to have the results. One important step that I have to do is to activate my DNA kit in the website. So I'm doing this right now. I'm just filling in the form and then I'm gonna send the test. The website is asking me for information about my mom. So let's see. I can't remember her date of birth, so... Ah! Now it's asking me information about my father, obviously, obviously. But the truth is that they don't have any information about my father, because when I was born, my father ran away. I only know my father is alive. My father is Mexican. I know his name, of course, and that's it. So I can put I can put his name. Mm -hmm. Only the information that I know. And this is going to be very interesting because there's a part of my family that I don't know. I don't have any idea. I just filled in the half of the form because I don't have the information of my father's side. They are giving me a number. So it seems now that the test is activated and then I can send the test to the post office. Well, I, I have to do the swap. First, here I have two swaps. This test is requiring two swaps, one for each cheek, and then I have to put them in this small vial. And then, last step, I have to put the vial here in this small bag and send it to the post office. Have the first one. Okay, first one done, and I need to do the other cheek. I'm very excited because who knows? I, I was sure enough in the last video that my nan told me that I have uh, Japanese ancestors, and maybe I don't. Also, about my dad's side, that would be very interesting for me to know. 
even though I know he's Mexican and probably all his family is Mexican as well, but I, I don't have a clear information. Me llama Tolteca Princess. So we're gonna send it to Mexico City and then we'll be in charge of the logistics. Guys, I have good news. Today I woke up and I saw an email from myheritage.com and it says that my results of my DNA are ready. I haven't seen them. I wanna look at them now. But I just want to tell you that the companies that offer that service are based in the United States. We found out that the only company that offers this service is myheritage.com. So we decided to try with this. I don't know if there are more companies that offer this service or at least we couldn't find the information. So we did it. But the other thing that we didn't know is that it took a lot of time to arrive here in Mexico. And then another month later, here we are, but I have the results. So I'm very excited. So let's see. My husband is gonna help me to open the page so you can see my real reaction. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. Okay. okay, so let me see. It. Okay. Well, I'm ready, let's see. Before seeing the results, I just want to encourage you to watch the other video that I made about the Mexicans looking Asians, because I found some interesting information about some Asians that came here to live. I was wondering about this because abroad, a lot of people were saying that I looked Asian. Not in Mexico, because in Mexico they say I look indigenous. So, and it's, it's very common to see people like me. So I'm not special, obviously, but I want, I really want to share this information with you. I'm ready. Let's do it. Ah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm nervous as well. Okay. Oh. Ninety-six percent Mesoamerican and Andean, one point six percent indigenous from the Amazon, and two point four percent other ethnicities. This is a summary. There are like more information here. This is a de detailed information. There is even a map. Oh, oh my God. I didn't expect this. Okay, in this detailed information, it says that I'm sharing genes with Mexico Central. It doesn't surprise me at all, obviously, but also Peru and Ecuador. This is a little bit surprising, yeah? Yeah, I didn't expect this, to be honest. Remember that I said that I have 1.6% of other ethnicities. Well, here, it says that I'm sharing 1.1% genes from China and Vietnam. What? What? I mean, it's nothing. It's just 1.1% of these genes. But maybe that was the reason that a lot of people were saying me when I was in Vietnam that I looked like them. This is really cool. I mean, people there are very kind and I enjoyed living there. I didn't expect this. And I'm also sharing DNA with the Inuit ethnicity. It says 1.3%. I know this was a little bit obvious because of my appearance, but a lot of people are mixed in Mexico, obviously. And it's very common to think that a lot of people share DNA with Spain, but it wasn't my case. This page is saying that I'm indigenous, basically. Before going any further, I just want to thank my Patreon for supporting the channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to travel to buy DNA tests or make videos like this. If you also want to become a Patreon, I'm gonna leave the link below and see you there. I know many people don't want to take a DNA test because who knows what these companies do with the information, but it's not something that worries me too much. So I decided to upload the information to more websites to compare it. 
I was trying to upload my raw data to 23andMe.com or Ancestry.com but unfortunately these companies don't accept information from other companies. It's a shame because when I saw my results yesterday I was very excited to compare them but I found more websites that accept the information. So I'm about to see the information. So let's see. The first company where I uploaded my data is mytrueancestry.com. Let's open it. Wow. It says this website compares the sample with ancient samples from real archaeological sites. It's very interesting because this website is saying that I've got a lot of matches with Mayans. And then I've got Incan and myheritage.com said the same and honestly i'm very surprised i didn't have any idea about this then it says i've got matches with indigenous people of north america that's the same myheritage.com said then aztec empire which makes a lot of sense because i'm from the center so i'm not surprised about that the only difference that i can see here is that this website is telling me that I've got a few matches with European genes, which myheritage.com didn't show. Hungarians, Huns, Danish, and more other that honestly, I don't know. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I'm from a small town in central Mexico that's called Tula. This area was home of the most important civilization in pre-Hispanic Mexico. At that time, this culture, the Tolteca culture, created an enormous trade network between the Mayan culture and even further, like Central America. Then the Aztecs kicked them out and there's proof that some Toltecs went to the south of Mexico, the place where the Mayan culture were settled down and decided to live there. Actually, there's a lot of influence in the Mayan culture from the Tolteca culture. I'm saying this because according to this website, I've got a lot of Mayan matches. And honestly, I didn't expect that because my family isn't from the south of Mexico. I think all my family is from, from central Mexico. In fact, my mother was born in Mexico City. And just to clarify, the Mayan culture settled down in, in the south of Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, Belize, Guatemala, of course. I thought it would be interesting to mention this because in the past there was a lot of relationship between the Tolteca culture and Mayan culture. And honestly, I didn't expect this because my nan told me I had a great grandparent who was Japanese. So where is he? Another thing that surprised me is that my family didn't mix with those Spaniards who came here to conquer Mexico or America. I'm, actually, I'm the first one because my husband is British. A lot of people were expecting me to have Filipino or Vietnamese blood, but it seems I've got no Asian DNA. At least this is what these websites say. And for those who said I was 100% indigenous, well, you are right. But I also uploaded my raw DNA data to another website. It's called GenomeLink. And this website is focused on identity, which I found very interesting because I wasn't expecting this. And I'm gonna show you my results, of course. This website says that it connects your DNA raw data with growing body of genomics research. It has information about food and nutrition, intelligence, physical traits, personality, and sports. All these websites where I'm checking the information are free. I've got here per personality. It says here I've got a high percentage of open-mindedness. It also says I've got an intermediate level of neuroticism. I would say I've got a lower level. <laughs> Something interesting. It says I've got a high level of genetic weight which I think is wrong because my family is thin. Let's go to the intelligence part. 
it says here I've got a higher level of hearing ability. And I think it's true, definitely. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed of this. It, it says I've got a lower level of reading and spelling ability. Yes, it could be, it could be. Yeah, this part is basically saying I'm stupid, but I can listen to you. <laughs> And well, I think that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give it a like. I usually talk about life in Mexico, cost of living in Mexico, traveling around Mexico, and interesting facts about our culture. So see you in the next video. Adios. And <laughs> intermediate level of Neurotism. Neuroticism. Oh, Dios mío. Intermediate level of neuroticism. <laughs> See? <laughs> it also says I've got an intermediate level of neuroticism. <laughs> neuroticism. ¿En qué año nació mi abuela? Segura. Ok, 15 de febrero de 1948. Ok, dale, adiós.